sasa ukaishi na yeye ukajipata <laughs> ukajipata uko na bol sasa so hiyo time alikaa huko kericho kidogo mm. so hiyo time akapata bol mm. akatoka mm. akaenda kanembea cha nirudi niende kazi mm. hadi sivi akakuja sasa bung, akaenda bungoma huko sasa bungoma eh sasa so, yeye akawa ananiambia amefungua studio anafanya tukawa tu tunaongea tu hivyo mm zwa 4 watano wa sita wa saba tunaongea tu mm-hmm. anatoa support kidogo kidogo amekuwa kwa hiyo nyumba baada ya dhatike eh niko kwa hiyo nyumba so hiyo nyumba si mimi nilikuwa na yeye ndiye alikuwa anga connect na landlord so mm-hmm. mimi si kukuwa na anything to deal with the, the house eh the nini mimi nilikuwa tunaishi mm-hmm. so tukaishi tu mimi nani kiache kama landlord hawezi niuliza anything wanaongea tu kwa simu mm-hmm tukaka tukaka mimi nikaendelea tu kukaa mimi inakaa kubwa nikafika mwezi wa nane kwanza mm-hmm. <laughs> akanipigia simu kanambia nataka nikuletee mfanyikazi wa nyumba mm-hmm. juu naona aki umechoka kaomba eh sasa mfanyikazi wa nini na naweza tu jifanyie kazi si mingi mtoto ni mkubwa mm-hmm. um, mtoto mwingine ni mkubwa si nikaa nikufua tu naweza ita mtu akufua nisaidie ange mara mbili kwa wiki akasema hapana we wacha alete mama wenyewe alete kwanza mama de mtu mwenye mm. ko 40s ah hey, unajua yeye anaongea kitu ka anafanya mm. ilikuwa mwezi wa kumi hapa ama tisa mm. yule mfanyikazi alikaa miezi mbili mbili akaenda alienda mm. alienda mwisho wa mwezi wa kumi kumaanisha alikaa hiyo wa kumi na tisa mm. saa alimleta tuseme wa nane ikiisha kamleta kasha eh kwani ilikuwa haraka hivyo akamleta kumuliza pesa ngapi alimpromise 7000 per month na kwa nyumba yenyewe hata kuna kazi mimi kamla 7 yake si ungangoja hata mnizae kwanza mm. <laughs> kasema sawa juu mimi si sawa to anything sawa mm. kakana huyo mama alikuwa mzuri by the way huyo mama alikuwa mzuri sana mm. ikafika novemba akaniambia utafanya baby shower kaombe oh sawa akaniambia tafuta mtu wa deco utafute mtu wa utafute photographer ukatafute nini hey mimi nikaunda whatsapp group na mabeshte eh si nimefurahi mabeshte wamejip prepare so hiyo baby shower tulifa kufanya november tarehe mbili tukajiprepare kila kitu iko ready ah tarehe 10 novemba mm. nikaita mabeshte zangu eh tukaweka hadi dress code kila mtu akabai nguo eh nikaweka mtu wa deco ready kila kitu photographer food hadi venue mm. eh yeye tarehe 10 nikiwa naye nakaniambia acha tu postpone hii bebisha bebisha kaniambia tuweke tarehe 27 juu kuna dona ngoja na inachelewa. Mm. Nilikuwa shocked. Nikapost tu kwa group but watu walinielewa. Kasema mm. ina shida. Juu niko na mabeshte zangu wengine walikuwa wa students wanaenda kufanya ma exam mm. wa ma uni nini. Kasema hata wengi wakasema ni sawa hata hiyo hiyo time iko sawa. He, si tukapostpone ikafika tukaendelea tu kuishi kuishi. Mm. So vile ilifika tarehe 26 hiyo baby shower ilikuwa tarehe 27. Mm. Eh, nikaongea na mama mwingine tulikuwa tunafanya na yeye chama kuchanga do. Mm. Nikamwambia nisaidie 30,000. Nikae tunaye juu naona juu mimi ndio napata chama date 30, nipe 30. Hiyo date 30 mm. ikifika utaichukua tu juu ni yeye ndiye alikuwa na collecting do. So madhe alinipa jo alijua hiyo do yeye ndiyo huwa na collect so atachukua tu. Akanipa do nikasema acha tu nikae naye juu hapa. Mm. Naona alafu si trust yangu ilikuwa imeisha. Mm. Tare 27 asubuhi. Nasema sijali ambiango mtu wa deco aenda aanze. So ilibidi mimi ndio nitume mtu wa deco na ile do yangu. Mm. Yeye wenyewe nimekopesha basi kumwambia nishachukua do. Huyo mtu wa deco akaenda akafanya deco. Nika sasa nikaambia ni MC juu si kutaka eh gharama mimi nikaambia MC we card nikuite. Mm. So nikaita photo nikaambia photographer. So tuseme ilikuwa tu photographer MC na venue venue tu kulipa tuliambua tu buy food mm. na tu buy zone drinks tukatoka hiyo siku asubuhi akaniambia tuende mimi tuli tuliamkia job kwanza by saa 4 ndio tukatoka tukaenda lesa venue tukafika kulisha mtu adeko aliamkia mapema by saa mm. si tukafika kila kitu kwa ready tukaanza ku have fun kujibamba 
So mm. kuna de mwingine besti yangu pia anaitwa Skola. Mm. Anafanya anaitwa Redi Njili. Mm. Ndio kamshaisikia Redi Njili na mpaka huko kericho by the way. Hii nikaambia Skola, Skola. Eh. Kuna ndio nataka unisaidie nijazie huyu. Ah yeye kwanza yeye ndiye aniambia zaidi. Kuna mtu anaweza omba do mlipe drink mbai drinks lakini before baby shower ishe takuwa nimetuma skola alikuwa hapa nikamuonyesha message akisema ni sawa mimi kona don tunaweza tumia ndio mm. day ilikuwa pia birthday yake so mchana ilikuwa baby shower usiku sherehe birthday mm. akasema ni sawa kuna don ilikuwa nayo acha nikupeke si tuta kitambo jioni ifike na ni birthday yangu si atakuwa amepata ruga ni baba ruga ni spoil mawai ni mali ma photography tumemlipa yeah tumeni spoil we mm. Saa kumi na moja ikafika sasa tukasema watoto waende home. Tukamwambia he, skola sasa anataka do. Kasema sijali nitatuma. Kumi na moja skola ngapi sasa? Na yeye nini hata hajatuma yeye ya venue hajai tuma ya photographer hajai tuma nini? He. Skola skola kwa mimi pia 5k. He, nika nini? Nika tukatoka but Skola kwa sha bike cake nini. So hiyo club tu tulifanyia baby shower nje. Mm. Tukaingia ndani, tukaanza birthday. Usiku sasa watoto tuliwae peleka home. Mm. Tukaanza birthday. Skola alikuwa na pesa kidogo at least akasema ah usijali maybe kuna vitu azijamwendea sawa. Mm. Wacha mimi nilipe tu utanipea. My friend hiyo pesa hadi saa hii zedi hajawahi lipa. Na alimkol yeye mwenyewe. So nikakuja nikaambia Skola hebu jaribu kuongea na yeye. Akimpigia hapo sasa ndio ndio vile tulitoka sasa hiyo baby shower hiyo siku mm. nikakuwa na stress nikapigia kiateka Kia, vile nilipigia kiateka nikamwambia so kuja hivi kwa nyumba alikuwa anataka kumuuliza nilisotiwa nyumba kiateka niliambia wewe msichana unatolewa kwa hii nyumba ni time soon na kwa si hata kutolewa ulipe rent haijai ilipwa miezi ine. na rent ni 30000 my friend <laughs> hey <laughs> miezi ine. Sasa mimba iko huko. Uwe. Nikampigia, nikamuliza, "Hujalipa rent?" Akasema, "Ah, usijali na sort." Akakata simu. Akapigia Judi, akuwa na huyo kateka alikuwa anaitwa Judi. Akamwambia Judi, "Aki usimwambie sijalipa rent. Acha tu sort kando." Na niko na Judi, so Judi akasema, after wameongea, Judi akasema, "Acha tu nikwambie ukweli, hakuna haja nikufiche. Hajalipa mm-hmm. rent ya miezi 4." Na Lando amesema, "Ulipe." Kwanza hata kuhama uhami kwa sababu lazima hiyo pesa isotiwe. Mm-hmm ikwepo this case. Na landlord vile scan kona mimba akasema yeye hataki kujingisha akatuma lawyer. Mm. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so mimi nilikuwa na deal na lawyer wake. Lawyer akasema hii ni biashara ya mtu na mm. lazima ulipe hiyo pesa. Mm. Nilikuwa na salon yenye nimefanyia kazi yenye nime nilifungua 2017 December mm. November tarehe tatu. Ha 2017 November iko kwa December. Ilikuwa November tarehe 3. Mm. Nilifungua ya salon yangu. Niliwa nilikuwa nafanya usiku kwa club tidies, mchana mm. na hustle kwa salon ya mtu. Hadi nikafungua hiyo salon. Nakumbuka ilikuwa tarehe 3 mwezi mm. wa 11. Ndio nilifungua ya salon. Nili have kuuza hiyo salon. Ndio ulipe hiyo bill ya hiyo nilipe nyumba. Na maji ilikuwa ijai ilikuwa pia. Na hiyo nyumba, hiyo place maji ilikuwa inakuja bill ilikuwa inakuja mingi. Mm. Maji ilikuwa inadaiwa kwa 3k. So nilihamu kuuza, nikauza fridge yangu, nikauza kuka, ndio nichange hizo pesa. Nikalipa sasa. After kulipa, sina pesa ya kuhama tena. Mm. Yeah. Usha ikuwa na stress. Uwe. Na ukimpigia anasema nini? Sasa hiyo December, sasa vile nifika December, si kwa malipa November kurudi nyuma. Na hizi tuko December. Eh nikaenda nikaambia lawyer, mi ongelesha tu hiyo landlord, nitaama hii mwezi lakini sijui nitarai gapi. Mm. Nitafute pesa. Lawyer kaniambia amesema by date 15 kuu umehama. Nikaona at least amepeke tu kama one week na. Mm. Nili have kuuza, niliuza tena nini ile? dining table. Niliuza dining table 10,000. Mm. Nikahama, nikaenda nikalafuta nyumba ya 4,000. Nikalipa nyumba na deposit 8,000. 1000 nikamisha nayo vitu 1000 nikafanya shopping. Hiyo ni December date 15 ndio nilihama. Nikahama <coughs> nikaanza kuishi kwa hiyo nyumba bado nafanya kazi kwa hiyo salon lakini sasa si yangu tena mm-hmm. nafanyia commission. Oh, nikafanya hivyo nikafanya hivyo. Sasa yeye yeah, sasa amenigeukia nikimuongelesha anasema hiyo nyumba asilipi juu unaleta wanaume. Ya yeah. 
Hey. Wanaume na uko na mimba. Hiyo nyumba silipi kwa sababu niliambiwa kuna wanaume uliambiwa na nani? Ana play victim sasa. Eh, hey. ati wewe una wao na mko nao wakulipie. Eh. Hey. Hey. <laughs> na misa hiyo ni yani nilikuwa na mimba hata siko natoka. Yani mm-hmm. ile mimba yenyata sherehe siko naenda sana. Ilio siku ya nini nilienda lakini hata sikukunywa juu. Yani ilinitoa kwa hizo vitu. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey. nikashangua na niambia nini? Ati wanaume akapotea hivyo kafika leli hama kakane kajifungua date 10 January sasa mmm eh date 10 ni limpigia sio akwaishika kapigia best yangu mwingine boy yende alinsaidia dili ya osi by the way eh nikakan kakan kaka match kanipigia simu akaniambia naomba msamaha nilipoteza job sijui nini ati eh ju mimi sasa hiyo match nilikuwa sina option katoto ni kadogo nime nimetangulia nimeenda na mtoto salon nikakiwa kadogo kameanza kugonjeka so imebidi pia niache job nikaitukua nyuma usiku kuwa na option na ilikuwa match aliongea akaanza kunitumia doki kidogo kama 500 at least ya food nikasema yenyewe acha tu nivumilie ju sina sina anything naweza fanya akaona nitumie 200 300 1500 hivyo hivyo mm. at least food at course ikafika akambia mimi sasa siwezi hata lipa rent mwezi wa 5 ilikuwa mwezi wa juni nimekaa huko two months mm. hii mwezi wa, wa saba na wa sita so nikuja kwa mwezi wa 5 akaniambia si uhame hata ukikuja mkae karibu yangu ukikaa karibu yangu mimi nitakufanyia kila kitu zedekia alie alipiga picha nyumba hadi akaniambia ndio nyumba ya biashara nimeshakutafutia hadi nimelipa eh ukuje uweke saluni yako urudishe akapiga nyumba nyingine sasa picha akaniambia hii ni mahali unakuja kuishi nimeshakutafutia nyumba ya biashara na ya nini ya kuishi ya kuishi eh nikasema at least mimi nimekuwa na stress nimekuwa na depressed mm. mimi ni mtu najulikana huko kuna vitu zimeharibika nikasema acha nijitoe mm. nikam akaniambia tafuta mtu wa gari Mwenye atafanya nini? Atabeba vitu nikasema sawa. Nikaongea na beshte yangu, aka nikabageni bageni, akaniambia atabeba vitu na 15,000. Nika nikaambia zaidi nishapata mtu wa gari anataka 15. Kwanza alikuwa anataka 20 juni beshte tukaongea ongea, akasema 15. Zaidi akaniambia sawa. Huyo mtu akakuja akapanga vitu kwa gari ya usiku. Vitu zikapangwa. Nikamwambia na do, akasema sawa. Nikamwambia mtu amesema atoki hadi utume pesa akasema ni pay time ni tukakaa hapo tukakaa karibu wana hawa akanitumia 7000 kaniambia wengine nitatuma kifika nikaambia mtu ndio pesa amenipea 7000 mtu akasema twende kwa petrol station tukaenda nikalipa hiyo 7000 mafuta yote hata siku mpya nililipa daire tukafika huko tulifika usiku katikati ya usiku kitu saa nane ndio tulitoka huko saa moja kufika tukaingia tukaweka vitu kwanza nyumba yenye alikuwa amenionyesha na yenye tuko ni different Ah, nikasema ni sawa mi bora lakini niko kwa nyumba. He. Akatoka nje, akaongea na huyo mtu so sijui alimalizana aje, akaenda. Asubuhi napigiwa simu. Kwa nini huyo mtu hajanilipa pesa yangu na aliniambia niki, before nifike nitakuwa nimepata. Nimengoja pesa sasa hii ashiki simu. He. Kashinda sasa hizi ni gani? Nikamuliza mbona hujapea mtu wa gari pesa na ni, ni mwenye ame connect ni best yangu. Akasema nitamtumia mpaka leo ajai tuma hiyo pesa. Shwa <coughs> ni tuma alafu najiita CEO. So tumekaa tumekaa hapo hapo so sasa si tumekaa two months. Hiyo mm. mwezi wa sita tumekaa ana provide chakula saa zingine provide tunalala hadi njaa. Ile njaa kabisa yenye hata maybe kenye mekunywa ni maji. Na kwa mtu mdogo na mko na watoto wawili huyo hata mdogo nasema ni afadhali jua atanyonya na mkubwa je. Mm. So nika tuka, tunalala nja so last hii tuseme 2 weeks ago alianza kuacha kurudi kwa nyumba sasa vile nikamuuliza wewe unatuacha unataka tukule nini akasema ah wanaume wako si wakunu si wakununulia chakula ha, tena wanaume he aka sasa kidogo ameka picha ya DP dem ati mimi niko na msichana nikamwambia hata kama uko na msichana wewe leo watoto wako umenitoa huko unajua mimi ni mgeni huko unataka nikule nifanye aje na watoto na lala njana na watoto si msichana anasema si ungeacha ungeniacha huko anasema ni sijui ni ni, ni, ni artist wake yeye yeah, mwenyewe zedi mm. aliniambia so ni kama sijui kama ni artist ama anataka kunifilisha mm. mm. akaniambia huyo msichana ni na mdet hata namsaidia mtoto wake kumlea 
Nikamuuliza kulea mtoto wake si shida na wako mwenye umeza si ule. Mm. Akasema wanaume wako wafanye nini? Hata niko na messages naweza kuonyesha. Nikamwambia juu umeamua hivyo tunaenda police station. Hiyo siku ndio aliweka huyo msichana api kwa DP sasa. Eh tukaendelea kukaa tumi pesa. Mimi kuna vitu nilikuwa kwa nyumba nikauza microwave nilinua 14000 niliuza ngapi? Elfu mbili. E mungu. Juni place alitupeleka ni mashambani. Hakuna mtu hata akona pesa. Hata hiyo elfu mbili nilipwa 500, 400. Bora tu nipate ya mungu bungu mama sha ndio yenye. Eh, so hiyo 500 tena nilifanya. Nili hiyo siku mtu yeye alikuwa mgonjwa. Alinilipa siku ya kwanza 500. Nikapeleka mtoto hospitali. Kurudi huyo nimeandikiwa tu dawa sijabai. Nikapigia tena beshti yangu. Nikopeshe. Beshti yangu amenipea 1500 nikam text nikamwambia nimechukua pesa kwa bishti yangu nimetibu na mtoto akasema nitalipa mpaka sahii hajalipa na namwamini juu bado huyo mtu gani hizi stories namwambia tu ndiye ajue mtoto unaona kitovu ilikuwa isha toka ime damu sasa ndio inatoka na anakaa tu kila siku namuonyesha unaona huyo mtoto atakufia hapa ndani kitovu imetoka damu inamwagika anasema oh nitalipa nitalipa sahii ni, nimekopesha kwa mabishti wote hadi sahii sishiki simu Okay. Eh, juu sasa watoto wanakuangalia wanafaa wakule. Mm. Zedi mwenye ana kupeleka hivi hivi. Tafanya aje. So jana hata nilikuwa naongea na one of wafanyikazi wake. Eh. Chenye niliambiwa hata nilishtuka. Mm. Mm. Alikuambia ni Zedi ako na sijui kuna msichana mwingine ako hapo kwa hiyo ofisi yao anamfanyianga shopping. So nashangaa ako na huyu msanii wake na tena ako na huyo mwingine. Eh? Na ametuacha kwa nyumba, ametutoa huko anajua sisi ni wageni huko. Hata hakuna mali utakopesha hata chakula ya watoto. Okay, Wewe ni mgeni. Sasa tutaishi aje. Wewe. Mimi nashingwa tu. Kwanza mara ya kwanza story mm. na huyo msanii wake anaitwa Stawambani ama ndio mm. Stawambani. Mm. Nikamuliza, "Eh, huyu ni Sikula, ilikuwa July by the way ilikuwa birthday yangu he nikamuliza he na siku hizi na huyo stawambani akaniambia ah huyu ni msani wangu alafu hata boyfriend wake ndiye amenipea ameni hiyo do kuna kuna do alikuwa amenipea alikuwa amenipromise siku ya birthday hiyo akantumia tao akaniambia hiyo tao nimekutumia ya boyfriend wake ndiye amenipea ndio nifanye nini ni tafutie views na civil subscribers nikasema sawa So after some times ndio akan ye mwenye akakuja sasa amekasirika kanenda ye huyo msichana na mdate so hata ana post ana post ana post huyo msichana huyo stawambani sijui ama ndio stawambani ama stand big hello the stand big kama ndio stawambani imagine hata kama ni wewe utafanyaje jamani kwa hivyo in short in short huyo ZD sijui ndio si ZDkia ama ZD mzio wa fresh FM so he is a con man in short eh na kama unataka ku prove hii kuna watu kadhaa unaweza wauliza first person anaitwa Brian Kariuki ni msanii wa gospel na watu kadhaa kuna mwingine anaitwa Nicky ni upcoming artist lakini yako kilicho yeye amekuwa akinipigia simu ati ambia ZD anitumie pesa zangu Nilimtumia pesa nifanye kazi ya kunifanya. So wasani boys anawakon pesa. Wasani wasichana anakudanganya atakusaidia atakusaidia anaanza kukudet. Alafu ikifika mahali wacha kwanza ni advice huyo Stanbic. <laughs> Stanbic. <laughs> oh Stan. Sasa <laughs> <laughs> Stanbani. <laughs> Account yako ya Instagram mm. na hizo wacha sema tu ma social media. Mm. Ukikosana atachukua. Mm. Alianza alichukua ya ex wake. Akaun. Mimi mimi ndio nilifanya karudishie huyo msichana. Juu huyo msichana tulikuwa tunajuana kando. Nikamwambia rudishie huyo msichana account yake ya Instagram. Ndiye akamrudishia. Yangu ilikuwa 10k plus followers ya Instagram tukupatana. Akafanya karabati kafika 100k. Siku yenye nilianza kumchapa ma reality my friend aliuza account yangu. <laughs> So, so usimpe access. Mm. We stand big ndo namwambia. Usimpe access ya vitu zako kitakuramba. Kilishaniramba na nakwambia. <laughs> eh, anaitwa Stawambani. Oh, eh, Stawambani sio stand big. Asije kasema kuna machungu sababu hapo na. Ah, mimi sina machungu juu. Sina machungu. Ah, machungu naweza kuwa nayo ni ya watoto wangu by the way. Mtu mm. ananitoa aje huko. Huko sijui mtu. Hiyo na machungu naye ya mtoto niko nayo. 
So what's your words for him? Like what can you just tell him? Now, kitu ya kwanza kwetu mtu straight forward. Unajua ukora iko na mwisho. Mm. Atangukia mkono mbaya. Mm. Si kila mtu. Alafu nimefanya hii itabidi tu tutapelekana hivyo. Ndio mabe ako na watoto sita by the way. Uwe. Na yeye mwenyewe pia. Ndio at least ama baby mama si wengine watakuja kusaidika. Mm. At least na hata wasichana wengine wenye atadanganya wataona. Mimi mi alishanitenda. Vitu zangu nimeuza, nimeuza ni vitu nilibai hata before to meet. Mm. Mm. Wow. So maneno yako pia kwa watu maybe watu wenye wanafanya kazi na wao wafanyikazi wao. Na wana huruma yake, tunangukianga mkono mbaya. Mm. Alafu wafanyi kazi na wote wenye najua watawailipo. Wafanye tu kazi. Kama ni unajitolea, jitolee tu lakini ya. sahau mshahara juu. Mm. Hiyo unafanya unajivolunteer. Unaenda tu hapo maybe time una kazi ku. Hiyo mm. nani kweli hiyo ni kitu najua. Na siku moja mm. one of them utafanya na interview na utaniambia. Mm. Mm. Where? So guys, that's the bitter truth. Mm. What people are going through huko mm. nje in the name of oh come mm. I want to help you. I want to you to manage you. Ku manage ni kusaidie yeah. you be a big star. My guys, God. please check followers, check everything. Usikwe don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. People are suffering out here. Look at our sister right here. Hako na mtoto mdogo 6 good months. 6 months. Katotoka dogo katotoka miezi sita huyo. Anafanya job. Anaanzia wapi maisha yake sasa? Nikimuuliza pesa anasema anatuma. Mm. And kata... man, why should you do that to someone's Imagine. someone's daughter? Imagine you Nika. it's your daughter being done like that. How is that even? Na juzu nimekuwa pale Fresh FM nikiwa that interview. I was speaking about this the same thing. Mm-hmm. The guy was pretending to be a very innocent guy. I can't even do such a thing. But you can't shame on you. You can't shame on you kabisa. He's very innocent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shame on you kabisa. Just for the sake of your child, for the sake of that small baby. Mtoto <laughs> mdogo. She sits yani my journey. He, he don't care. Yani Are you even uko na rock when you are very comfortable kabisa? I swear it hurts. It hurts. Sai na uza sai jana acha nikwambie ni loser glasses. Pesa ngapi 30 30? glasses 10 kapata 300 nikafanya kwa nyumba by the zangu za nyumba team bride cake excuse me watu wangu team bride cake let's 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 do something the small that we can do we help this mdada cause angalia she has a six, six, six months old child ndio hiyo rent pia nakwambia ni shida hajelipa chakula pia it's it's a problem like ni shida tu So guys like if you can just come through hata if you have a job maybe and you know come accommodate job na mtoto cause in salon if you have a job and you can just provide a job for her sana sana salon tu akijua salon ndio naweza enda na mtoto wewe yeah ili au tu kupata hata kama ni 200 kwa siku 300 hiyo itasaidia ni ndio tu yake chakula she will really appreciate yeah so guys that's the sad story of our lady but listen darling God is there mm. never give up I know. Watu wengine pia kama sisi we are living testimony mm. we've been through a lot in life mm. unaelewa mm. na saa hizi mali tumefika ni Mungu tu mm. unaelewa mm. so don't let this one man afanye useme like all men are bad mm. ama uone ni kama dunia imegeuka mm. no muona it's just a lesson watu ukosea people do a lot of mistakes mtu anaweza akaolewa hata uzawa watu sita mm. kumbe umeza watoto na wrong person okay. umeelewa mm. watu na six kids unaanzia wapi but we are women we are built with strength umeelewa mm. at the end of it all you will stand again and saizi asikuje tena na, na uorongo i think you've known him and umejua kila kitu yake mm. hey. it's just about you and your kids umeelewa mm. make sure watoto wako unawanganganilia mm. ndio hivyo like sisi tutaweza me if you reach when you reach at me if i have something maybe mm-hmm. i can help you Melo, i don't know you but so for the sake of the kids sababu ya watoto i just kama ninaweza okay. nitakusaidia so pia kuna kitu ningependa kuambia my friends mabeshte zangu hata wajui niko wapi mm. kuna wengine niko na deni zao hata sijawalipa wanadhani tu niko maybe niko sawa mm. i'm not okay na jaribu tu ku yani ku Nita at least ni siaibike na try tu kunini. Ju pia nikikaa na mabeshte nitakuwa depressed. So mm-hmm. niamua tu nitulie lakini mtu yote mwenye niko na deni yake nitamlipa. Mm-hmm. Hata kama sishiki simu nitalipa. I know tu mm-hmm. ni situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Najua itawafikia mm-hmm. na watani understand. So yeah. tumekuwa friends for long. So hiyo hiyo kitu kidogo isifanye tukosane. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right guys, I think we are coming at the end of the show. 
So guys, the story is very much touching and very any any <laughs> man. Other <laughs> CG, I don't know, but I, I like okay. Let's let let us share story. Ya, la ya salu ikweni ni lesson kwa mtu mwingine muona as i always say usikubali kutumika in the name of at your own dark when when the right time comes you will just be a star mtu asikutumie kudanganya with the fake promises zinyata you can't he can't even aise fanya ama unaona hata kama yeye yule alikuwa anafanya vitu zingine but unaona like all of them are just fake stories and conning people and there's no where he's going this guy afiki malipopote so Let's just be straightforward. Alafu usifanye mtoto wa watu mabaya tu like mm-hmm. why how can you do that to such a kwa binadamu mtoto wa mwenzako? Hata wako kwanza. Eh? Hata na wewe pia umezaa. <laughs> In fact unashinda ukizalisha dalisha sana huko. Hawa tu kwa kufanya the same thing how will you feel? Imagine I'm so disappointed in you for real I am. So guys it was amazing having you. Mm-hmm. Continue sharing the video. Mm-hmm. Continue subscribing until the next video. Eh okay mm. kitu kingine hata nilisahau kuambia mm. nilidanganya mabishti zangu nilipata job Nairobi tu mm. nilikuwa ni maogofa ni kweli so acha tu niwaambie kweli i'm not in Nairobi mm. nilitoka huko juu ya ma stress mm. after kuuza salon yangu hata wengine wajui niliuza salon nilificha juu nilikuwa na stress yeah, nilikuwa eh, na ogofa mm. after kuuza salon nilikuwa na stress na sikutaka pia wajue niliuza mm nikatoka juu ya nikarudi nikakuja huku Bungoma huku ndio niko na life si poa sana mm. but tuna try ku sort vitu mm-hmm. all right guys so social media zake unaitwa Salu Juliet mm. kila mahali kila mahali she's a talented by the she's a very talented singer gangeton mm. look for her there in any tiktok youtube instagram yeah, TikTok if you have something <laughs> maybe you want to share with her mama help her reach her out yeah, yeah. tusaidiane tu unajua binadamu hatujui kesho Yeah. So guys, bye until next time.